this leads me to something, man, that I wanted to really talk about tonight for the meet the show. We are really living in a credulous society right now, man, to where people would rather believe a lie rather than the truth. That's always. Uh, nowadays, it's not about the truth. Uh, nowadays, it's about just getting the story out to motherfuckers. And I don't give a fuck if it's the truth or a lie. I just want to broadcast some bullshit. Well, you know what it's came down to, man? Um, there are some people out there that make a lot of money off these platforms, right? Right. So you got a case of people really being intellectually lazy nowadays instead of going to go do research. You know how I come in and I call you eight and say, okay, we go kind of talk about this, this, this. Right, we get the subjects together or whatever. subjects together. Our show is more of a long-form conversation, so it's not really no just big focal point. We don't just go in on something, but we have a regular conversation about it like you would with a homie in the hood. Right. Just to get down the root of stuff. We don't claim to have all the answers, but it's some things that we deem it important to talk about, we talk about it. Definitely. Um, I think we live in an era right now, man, where the truth is almost like taboo nowadays. You know, people even, I believe, and I don't, I'm not a conspiracy theorist at all, but you even have certain people, man, that seem like they disappear after they tell the truth about certain stuff. Yeah, you got to be careful and shit. Like, uh, uh, the wrong, the tr being truthful nowadays might get you in a world of trouble and shit, even though you're just trying to put out information. You feel me? So... Yeah, but you know what? I've always felt like um, it's our duty, man, because on a podcast, we got a substantial amount of listeners, right? Right. And I feel it's almost destructive to not do your research or something, because like the other day, I got a, um, a text message from somebody, and it was a forward from somebody else that one of the homies had passed away. Mm. I got a text, um, rest in peace, Black Tone. Okay. Now, this person sent this out without doing the research or nothing to find out if it's true. Before I went, especially when it's a death or something like that, important, mm -hmm. I always like to call people to verify before I put out certain information because you can have somebody's mama at home that don't know nothing about this, and next thing you know, she's looking at the internet and see rest in peace, such and such. Now she's about to have a heart attack because she don't know what's going on with her kid. Mm. But it's not even true, so she's blowing her kid up or whatever to find out if this is true. But it turned out to be um, Black Tone's father, rest in peace, Ernest. But that's just one of the primary examples. People just go off, people just put out whatever, like I said, without fact checking and shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you what the problem is, hey, who I blame? Mm. I blame you, you cats out there. <laughs> you, y'all. Y'all do all this because people are so consumed about bullshit nowadays. We would have a bigger range of topics if that's what people wanted to hear. Yeah. But when you come with some stuff that's edifying, they don't want to hear that, bro. They would rather hear a lot. They would rather hear, well, eight did this. I heard he did this. I heard Steele did that. Rumors intrigue people, man. I mean, shit. Rumors intrigue motherfuckers to where, I mean, you, you see this shit just over... Just over shit like videos or fucking just conversations or people don't give a fuck about what the truth is. Really, the aspect is just let me put out some shit. I got I like I see this shit all the time, but I guess it's now the days of of people want to be the first one to broadcast some shit. You mm -hmm. get me? Because that makes them go viral or that makes them get a gang of clicks or likes or whatever the fuck they after. But like I said. Today is the day of shit, nigga. It, it, I don't care if it's the truth. I'm going to be the first one to broadcast this shit so my motherfucking page can blow up real quick. That's all people care about now. People care about those clicks, views, likes, and all that other stuff, man. It's, uh, social currency has become the new standard. If you ask the average kid today nowadays what, would we, what, what he would rather have, would he rather have um, $10,000, $20,000 in his pocket? Or a cracking ass Instagram page. Most of those kids go say the cracking ass Instagram page. Oh yeah, page. you know, definitely because they feel I can generate more income off the cracking page. You know, exactly. That's, that's the end goal. You know, and you can't make some money out there, man. But at what point does it become too much? Because I really believe the area that we're living in right now, man. Somebody's gonna get hurt. Yeah, you got to be careful with the information you put out, man. It's especially uh coming from you know 
the walks of life and the streets that niggas been into, you, it can get treacherous and dangerous uh, by putting out false information mm-hmm. or, you know, by just spreading rumors or talking, you know, because now everybody wants to prove, you know, uh, 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 their their worth or or how how tough or their authority. Mm-hmm. And then, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers will get into a world of trouble by just broadcasting shit they know nothing about. You know, I it it just amazes me how, and the shit is crazy because a lot of these motherfuckers be older motherfuckers. Well, that's the thing. It's all, that's the scary part about it, bro. Like, it's crazy to know that a nigga, you know, my age want to be, you know. Or older. In, influenced by uh, uh, this life of, of social media, you know. I don't know. It's just different for me. Well, you know what it is, man? You have a lane right now. Um, it's almost easy money. Like it's easy money. You know, you go in front of a camera a couple hours every week and talk shit. You can make anywhere from seven thousand dollars a month on to ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month, just sitting on your ass at home telling lies. But what happens is and this. And then I tell motherfuckers like, everybody want to be famous today. Mm-hmm. Um, that 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 bug has really bitten a lot of motherfuckers. Like. You see people do anything to become famous, and whether it's controversy, making a fool of themselves, or fucking I'm going to swallow a gallon of fucking dishwashing liquid, or or I'm going to... I mean, people will go through all fucking extremes nowadays to be social media famous. You feel me? Like, it just amazes me, man. Who who niggas want to be like nobody want to be normal no more. Everybody wants to join this fucking world of 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 podcasting or controversy or whatever. And then it's ridiculous for some niggas because they ain't got shit to talk about. But you see, it's like the new rap. This is the new dope game or the new rap game. You know what I'm saying? Start you a podcast, get on and start talking shit about somebody, and you're gonna blow the fuck up. Hey. 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 Hey.